Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Hypozilla, and we're back playing Alien Isolation, this is part 3. So, uh, this here, last time we got passed through the rest of Mission 2, and all of Mission 3, and part of Mission 4. The boring part. <laughs> Alright, so, what the? so, this is like my second day in this room, um, it's back in my old room, you know, when I fell, um, it's where I found Godzilla and Friends, uh, it's also where, I, you know, um, where I'm filming some, some Godzilla Dynasty, um, and this is where I keep most of my stuff really. But now I'm sort of back in this room, um, I spent eight hours yesterday sorting it out, you know, getting rid of most of the cardboard, uh, the bits that I didn't need, or the bits that just looked like rubbish. So, um, I mean, I can still use some, you know, there's still some cardboard that I've kept that's good enough for, you know, some stuff. Hello, oh, doggy. Go cool. Cool. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, my dog likes to sort of lie down. He, he, um, I think he should understand that you won't be able to get on this. Because this is a fairly small desk. Oh, why is it playing that really ominous track? That only plays when the aliens need. Where's everyone? Ah. External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Scan. Facility offline. All outgoing communications all drag. Set gray. Internal communications open on limited channels. There must be someone on the station I can contact. Unless you can find Samuels and Taylor. Oh, wait. Bot's going to progress. Oh, I remember, uh, I remember seeing this Alien Isolation sort of free set came with all three alien, uh, Isolation figures. Right. I think this is just for Christmas. Hi, bro. Here a minute to see what it does. If you find this facility in a state that isn't to your liking, please let us know. Seek's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. 
That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Seekson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make... Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injuries. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Unauthorized communication. Please wait to be attended by a member of the CX personnel. Oh, shit. My dog is sat up sleeping on my arm. <laughs> also, you know. I guess that's the advantage when you're a dog. The doggy, 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 doggy. Oh! System, that, that, that. Oh, I'm gonna put door access on. Nice for a short trip. Eighteen bullets. Okay, so I right, so he's moving away. Anyway, so today I've got to spend some time uh, finishing up my room. Um, basically, I'm going to. I've got two tables, you know, that where I filmed Some Gods and Friends. I've got to move them. Uh, I, I want to wipe it down. Um, both tables. Um, and then, I don't know. I'm just going to sort of tidy the room up a bit. And then I'm going to give it a hoover. Or a vacuum, if you're American. This is Central Communications. Seeks an employee's okay, only.
You know, might as well take this. Hey, yeah. Uh... You good, ducky? Got some injured. I don't know who that is. You wanna go off? Go off. Go on then. There you go. You might back at me shortly. So just imagine in Alien Isolation 2, right, but keeping it so that, um, you know, it, it, it's uh, an open world sort of game, like, you can go into like, every single room off the of Sevastopol. And you can even spacewalk, but then you've also got this like really um, well-made campaign behind it. You aren't drooling. Oh, you must reply to you and you are sympathetic. I don't want to. Hi. You didn't have red eyes. I think only having the Android team for a couple of missions makes this game a hell of a lot better. You know, because they get excessive. More excessive than having the Xenomorph on you. But there is more Android than there is Xenomorph, to be honest. Hold on, let's just look at the missions, right? So. Bit of alien, bit of alien, uh, lots of android, lots of alien, lots of alien, um, I guess half alien, some android, um, android and humans, uh, that's a space, alien, uh, Lots of alien and lots of androids. <coughs> lots of androids, lots of androids, lots of androids, lots of androids and aliens. Uh, an android and alien. Uh, lots of humans and alien and an android. An android and a and a human and an alien a couple androids that are already dead a human there's no humans in that one. and alien and alien so there's really more it androids 
then there is Alien. You know? And when you want this game to be threatening, and, you know, to have this big baddie, you don't want it to be... You know, you don't want it to be um, something like... an android, you know, especially when it's an alien game. You know, you want it, the alien to have more of a role than any others, but if you're making a game where the alien, you know, where it's like a movie, then you might want the alien to come in about halfway through. I noticed he looks around when... Anyway, yesterday I did some Outlast. I don't even think I finished part one, to be honest. Um, I was sort of invited to go on to Fortnite with Sophie. So, I just did. Might have my last few crisps. That's all fine. To be completely honest, I don't know if I'd be able to 
complete this game on nice detection because I mean I live in a fairly loud house but if you lower your microphone level you know you still got the breathing coughing uh, my nose sort of acts up so it is that uh, when I feel like it does I just gotta stop playing am I able to be an asshole? yeah Well, that's alien. Ripley. Medical facility and seek some synthetics. Ripley? Is that Ripley? Yes, it's Ripley. <clears throat> How can I help? Try and rest, Dad. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical is nearby. You know, you said that as if she's not really there. I'm going to rest. You could just say, How so are you, Taylor? You still Oh, there. right, I'm hurt. I'll try to repair the radio boost. What if this. It's just to Shows cut them. down, you know, just make less dialogue Hi. for Taylor. Authorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say I've completed this game around like 12 times. And 100 percented it. I'm a pro. So get scared at it. But then again, that's just the beauty of alien isolation. No matter how good you are, <coughs> you're still never going to expect a jump scare or anything. You, hey, you. Need some help. Yeah, you could be the best I need a doctor. you know player Hello? at alien isolation in the world, you. but you'd still have those occasional jumps. I mean, my sort of weakness is, uh, Mission 17, and I think I spent, uh, two hours on that when I was doing Nightmare Mode, and I had the intent of finishing it with, like, I think I spent about a week doing it, I had the intent of, you know, <clears throat> Forget the door. The marshals have locked everything down. Use the vent. Relax. I'm looking the vent behind you. Just here. Anyway, once all this is done, I, I might show you a room toy. <laughs> There's just, I guess there's just one more thing you need to bring in, and that's the actual, like, mattress, not mattress, the actual, like, bed frame. Um, well, because right now I'm just, it, you know, it's just two mattresses on the floor. You're not catching us at our, you're not catching us at our best. Alright. 
Alright. I play this game way too much. I'm Kuhlman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Alright. Eh, I might do that later. <coughs> To be honest, I think he would do. No, just it is the imagine it's being locked in a room like like these. I almost fired a bullet then. That just reminds me of how That's stupid right. it is. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute, Susie. Dr. Lingard, we we need, we need more supplies and mood stimulants up here. <clears throat> but getting me a lot, and it doesn't help that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Log sure he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. It's fast as people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coleman and find out where these prescriptions are going? Have so you found the passcode? Look, we'll Thank be the Actors, enters the primary care deck now limited to marshals and senior staff. Universal facility. Pascal's in the two. The students will scan potential points in the community every 15 minutes. Oh. I mean, why would it detect the alien then? If it's in the vents? I mean. I guess you could say, oh, right, well, people just, you know, come on through and try to free a loved one, for example, or try to kill a loved one. So it is logical.
Alright, I also think it's uh, spider season. I won't even look in. I also think it's uh, spider season, or oh, we're going into spider season. And that's a bad time, especially when you, you happen to have this thing called arachnophobia like me, and you live in a fairly old house. Yeah, you know, it's just, you know, several alarms for spiders, you know, going, hey, over here, over here. I mean, last year I had, I think about five absolutely huge spiders in my room and I had to get my sister to get rid of them. There were huge spider spiders. I think they struggled getting getting hoovered. Yeah, just because they were big and ferocious. Okay, he's pissed off. That's a lie. Also what would make this game really really cool is that if you actually had a body to worry about like I mean you have like you know your legs but maybe while you're like this your legs are sort of sticking out or you're more invisible rather than just being a camera it actually make for humility where is it? I think he's in So I think he's coming around. He's in the vents. I need a flash, um, I need a blasting cap. I think after this video, I'm going to make a video, um, as a channel that I've also, I've also like re resorted out my collection and put all my customs up on the top and you know my, the rest of my figures in the middle. Where is it? I'm 
not been paying attention. I think I did that just in time. It's a case of hide and seek here. Save before it turn you know it comes up and kills me. Cause none of us want that. Alright, you know what I think I'm going to leave this part here. Um I think we're going close to about half an hour. Part of me wants to do our videos, but I think if we go half an hour, it's just going to be better. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next.